Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm showing you the top and best strawberry tweets for iOS 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm just joking with you guys. As of uh, recording this video, iOS 15 has not came out yet. And when it does, um, we probably won't have a jailbreak the day it comes out. I mean, that would be amazing if we do, but we most likely will not. We, we have to wait for one. Uh, but iOS 15 publicly did not come out yet. Um, Beta-wise, it's out. But uh, publicly, it has not come out. Um, recording this video, if you guys want to date, um, it's going to be uploaded probably in 2022, but it was recorded on August, uh, what's the day? August 24th, 2021. It's currently six days before I leave for the military. Um, I'm like so ahead of like with videos. I literally have videos premiering once every three days up until January of 2022 and it's and you know it's the end of August of 2021 so I'm literally like four months ahead which is great because I'll be in the military for six months so uh you know I get back uh I won't I actually have to start uploading again and get back into the loop um if not I made hundreds and hundreds of top threes videos I'm I think I made like a total of so far like 600 top threes videos Usually, like, I do, like, one a day, so, uh, yeah, um, I've been doing it for a long time, I'm definitely the most, I'm definitely the biggest, not biggest YouTuber, no, but I'm definitely the YouTuber who's made the most top these videos in the world, I have to be, um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, we have the tweet called Emoji Search for iPad, compared with iOS 14 to 14.4.2, and it enables emoji search on iPad OS for 14 to 14.4. Right. Studio version 2.2, it's modern APT package. Uh, manager front end is his alternative to Cydia. Um, it does support all jail rates, and, um, which is a recent update. Also, if your TISP is blocking you from using repo.getcilio.app, you can use E L I H W Y M A dot jithub.io forward slash cilio repo forward slash as a mirror for repository as in a repo um so to get the uh you know the up most updated uh cilio package or tweak um cilio version 2.2.1 is now live with fixes for dpkg lock local installs cannot find archive errors and more by this developer beautiful this is called AdSent Custom iOS AdSent Colors and macOS Style. If you guys want to know where to get this tweak from, you can find it on the developer's repo, which is L I L L I E W E E B dot jithub dot io forward slash repo forward slash. There's obviously no spaces because it's a repo, so there's no spaces in repos if you guys are wondering. Um, but that's the repo you guys find this tweak from. You can also check out the other packages and tweets from the developer. It's called Smart Notifications 2, and this tweak gives you a smart notification. I'm just kidding with you guys. Um, let's see. So, do, 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 do. We gotta read, you know, the whole 35 paragraphs and point out the important information. I thought I'm in school. And I'm on two hours of sleep, so I'm definitely in school. <laughs> Nah, I'm lying to you guys. I got like six hours, I think, on an average day. I didn't think I went to bed like 12, and we had to wake up like 6.30, 7 o'clock. Nah, I got like 6.45, I think. I had to be like in the school, in my class by, I think, 7.15 a.m., which was crazy early, which is stupid. Guys, if I can rule the world, I would do it 100% different. I would be a way better president. I wouldn't say president, but easier said than done. But uh, I would not have kids go to school so early because, you know, you're getting not that much sleep, which means you're sleeping. You're not paying attention. You're not learning as much. Your brain's not fully active in the morning. Like when you first wake up, your brain's not active. Um, I say like 9 a.m. is a good time to start school. Because if you go to bed like midnight, which most kids do in high school, um, you can at least get about like at least eight, eight and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> um, even seven and a half hours, which is not bad. So uh, I don't know how to talk about school, but it's a, a custom notification sound. So the custom notification sound for each installed app individually. So uh, yeah, it pretty much allows you to, uh, you know, control 
your uh, notifications. So, pretty cool. Next feature called No Type Block and Block Notifications to take control of your digital well being. So, notifications are a gift and a curse. How do I guys know the description without looking at it? Because I've done these videos hundreds of times. So, pretty much what this does it allows you to control what apps you get notifications from, what apps you don't. So, you block certain apps from sending notifications. Um, in other words, why? Because if you are working on a project, working at your job, doing something productive or doing anything, and you don't want to be distracted by your phone, this is a perfect week for you. The only problem I have with this week is that I would hate it because you don't know what you're missing. You know, if you're not getting these notifications, it could be something important. So I would not recommend doing this to your phone calls and messages app. But as an app that just spams you with annoying crap, yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't even need this tweak. You can literally just go to your settings, scroll onto the app, and turn notifications off yourself for the app without needing a tweak. And I'm the kind of guy that runs on the lowest tweaks as possible just because when you guys do have errors and issues, um, it could be just a tweak, a bad tweak itself, it could be the tweak interacting with another tweak that's not compatible. Whatever it is, you're going to have a hard time finding the error or issue with 100 tweets rather than 10 tweets. I can promise you that. For someone who's been in the jailbreaking scene for six years and who's literally like tested out most things jailbreak relatable, as in like tweak wise, I would say. You guys should listen to me. I've been through boot loops. I've been through getting new phones, restoring, losing everything multiple times. Not once, not twice, maybe four times. I think I lost everything. Why don't you just back it up? I can't back it up. First off, you could back up jailbreaks, but they're kind of a pain to back up. And I just don't, like, I don't, I just don't do that kind of stuff. I just... I think it's more of a hassle than anything, but that's just me though. But I know when you lose your crap, it's it sucks. But uh, to back up your jailbreak is a little more complicated than going to iCloud and being like, oh, back up. Um, and the, I, I don't really, yeah, I'm, I don't know. Um, there's only certain, there's only a couple of tweaks I think that can back up, but then you have to have a certain something to get that back. And even if you do, like, it's just it's not the same because I've. You won't get your versions back and you know i think you have to pay for stuff again could be wrong but uh this week is actually called banner sounds 13. this is called bus plus dark dark mode for the bus plus bio grad app by app pets solution technology all right guys important news this is not the tweet we're making a video on um the tweet is actually called lockdown beta by kratana uh, kratana um, enables native passcode functionality on A11 devices while jailbroken. So you guys cannot have a passcode. You guys you have to disable the passcode on A11 devices to uh, <coughs> the jailbreak, I guess. I think for check range jailbreak, I believe it is. That's the only jailbreak you could use for A11 devices, I believe. Um, in order to jailbreak, you have to disable your password, which pretty much leaves your device very, very um, unsafe, unsecure, and liable. Um, which is a big, big uh, security flaw. So uh, a, a tweak, I guess you can say, from um, Cortana or Cortina. It's from. It's called Lockdown. Uh, that does add a passcode functionality. There's also another tweak. I forgot. I made a video on a while ago, but uh, that also has like a passcode in a certain way to your device. But I do want to mention that uh, you you do actually have to. It's I DM made a video on it. Um, he has like 220,000 subscribers. I don't know how, but he does. He actually stopped uploading for like, I think like two years at a time, like a year ago, and he came back like a year ago. Um, you know, I've been uploading videos straight for years, and I barely get any views or subscribers, but besides the point, um, he did a video on it. I, I don't do videos like that anymore because YouTube would literally ban my channel and give me strikes. But no YouTubers do it. Nothing happens to them. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check out the video, you definitely can. Um, so uh, you actually do have to uh, file or subscri not subscribe, but you have to be a patron, and it's like two dollars a month, which isn't too bad. But still, like paying money every month, I hate that. I hate subscriptions, guys, because then you forget about them and they just eat up your bank account. You know, so. Uh, you guys can, uh, you know, it's a good way to support the developer as well. I prefer one-time payments. I would even pay more as a one-time payment just so I know, like, the payment's out of my way and I don't have to, like, stress about it every month. 
even if it's just $2, I just don't like money to come out of my account every month. Unless I have to. This is called a notification tester and send notifications to this from settings. My favorite tweak is called, well, top favorite tweak is called app editor. And what this tweak allows you to do is it allows you, why is it like in weird bolded format? That's like weird. All right, so it gives you 30 plus features, guys. And um, yeah, pretty cool. You all these features right here. Developers continually adding new features like yeah like five six features in the last like week so uh you know <coughs> what's good this week is that it, it's like literally t at least like 10 to 15 tweets into one so it does cost like five dollars five dollars in us which is not that bad at all compared to everything it gives you i mean i think like one or two features in this tweak is worth five dollars alone but it has like 30 plus features so uh you can't really argue with that i mean it's literally just five dollars and it supports it's cheap small amount one-time payment and it supports the developer i'm a hundred percent for that and the good thing is don't waste your time looking to get this for free as of right now i was making this video there is no source that has this tweak for free nor um there's no cracked version of it there's no way to crack it um and hopefully it stays like that you know if you guys want it you have to pay from people who say oh, i don't have the pay the payment method or whatever it is you just it, like just create an account like i use paypal but there's you use your credit debit card which i just don't feel comfortable doing that you know it's probably safe um use your own rest by the way as a disclaimer to protect myself i guess but i use paypal it's just like a you know secure way of paying i have my card linked to it i have a paypal account and uh yeah that's what i use um so uh, if you're i guess if you can't make a paypal account you're out of luck i mean i think it'd be at least 18 to make a paypal account um i guess you have your parents make a paypal account and they can just buy it for you and you can give them a five dollar bill <laughs> i don't have to tell you but uh this week is pretty amazing you can downgrade apps open up uh, uh, and the data path of falza app path of falza you can choose between two accounts kind of like slices three and that's line have um and uh the guys the tweak you know of uh what's it called crane um disable app notification disable notification uh clear cache you could uh back up the app restore the app um you know erase all app data um launch the app like in airplane mode uh kill your cellular data your wi-fi uh bluetooth um table incoming calls while you're in the app the biggest thing i like is downgrading you can downgrade the app enable location services you also can change your location you can set a passcode on apps so it's and just literally at least 30 tweets in one and developers still adding new stuff to it it's called sony fi and brings you noise cancellation control to your sony headphones This is called Double Cut. Come out with iOS 7 for 13. Start mail address via double tap. At this is called Drain and tells you pretty much what uh, tweets are draining your battery. There's a lot of conspiracy theories about this tweak. Um, take it for you want. You know, if you don't feel comfortable, don't install it. Um, there's the conspiracy theories pretty much that this tweak does drain your battery, which could be true, could not be true. I don't know. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the like the way it worked was like how do you how can you tell what tweets are draining your battery when you first install it because that's do like test and see um but i don't know i i mean it could just be a hoax i don't know it could be legit it could not be i have no clue <sighs> i'm just reporting you guys what the tweet does i should probably get to bed i've been literally making these top two videos for an hour guys i've been away for a week and i'm catching up with these top tweets vids um, I don't like missing vids, I mean, uh, any top tweets that's been updated, at least for you guys. So, uh, I'm at least gonna finish this. I mean, I should have been in bed like two hours ago. But, uh, I'm gonna do this for you guys. And hopefully we get at least 50 views on the video. <laughs> um, yeah, I literally had two hours of sleep, guys. <laughs> we had to get, we had to be at the airport at 5.30 a.m., so I had to get up at 4 a.m. 
and I didn't fall asleep to 1.30 a.m. Do the math. This shoe's called, this shoe's called Lock Plus Pro, and it has over 10,000 downloadable free themes. It's the best lock screen uh, tweak. Uh, make sure you guys look at the conflicts. <clears throat> As in, conflicts means that you cannot have these tweets installed with this tweak. It will cause issues, that's what it's saying. And it does support iOS 9 to 14. This shoe's called No Tracking Plus, and stops apps from using your device for statistical purposes. So, stops apps from tracking your device. Pretty cool. Pretty cool tweet that was updated. Not updated, but uh, it was uh, just released. Um, like, within the last week of making this video. In August of 2021. Called Network List. And what this tweet does. Which, uh... <coughs> I do some of my research obviously before I uh, make these videos to give you guys the best content. Make sure my sources are fresh for you guys. Refresh them um, and have at least a good amount of sources installed so I can uh, show you guys the tweets and action, descriptions, actor descriptions, and all that. Um, sometimes the source is down when I make the video or I don't have the right source for certain tweets. So that's why I had to use an alternative tweak. Um, but what this tweak does, it allows you pretty much, uh, gives you a new set, a new uh, setting. It's called no networks. And that pretty much gives you the Wi-Fi password you previously connected to in the past. Um, this does not hack Wi-Fi passwords. Just me saying that. Could get this video banned and could get my channel a strike because I said that. So no, this video, this tweak does not hack Wi-Fi passwords. It's nearly impossible to hack a Wi-Fi password in this day and age using a tweak, a jailbroken tweak, guys. You, there's the security on routers, like unless you have like a really, really old router with really, really, really poor connect, poor security. That's probably like 0.0001% of people in the world. So pretty much 99% of people have at least if, like if you have a decently new router the security on it is uh i believe it's a wpa uh this type of security it's it's pretty much very very protective and um yeah you might it might take you like a month or weeks just to find the password <laughs> so and by that time you're gonna kill your battery your battery because your phone is constantly um searching um and and put in <clears throat> a password in you know the see if it's right so it's it's pretty much you're never gonna find a password for wi-fi i mean like it, it's gonna kill your battery it's gonna kill your phone i mean just it running is gonna make your phone very very hot it's not worth it it's it's really not worth it at that point you might as well find yourself a job and then pay for your own wi-fi but now this has nothing to do with hacking wi-fi this literally just shows you the passwords right here just tap on that, shows you the passwords you connected to previously for Wi Fi. This is called YT UHD and lost 1440p and 2160p resolutions on YouTube app. <clears throat> this is called UI Kit Tools, UI Kit Graphics Services Command Line Access. This is called LDID uh, Pseudo Code Sign Max Show Files. This is called NetFence and Monitor um, and accepts your outgoing network connections so you can allow or block them. She's called YouTube, uh, what was a YouTube tweak for YouTube app, um, version 1.5, added UU local to shorts, added match, uh, concurrent files, download, co downloads count, fits shorts download on some devices, fits cancel download crash, fits UU update alert, fits freezing while converting to file, and small bug, fi small bug fixes. This is called Safari Bar Lock. It's also a uh, okay, Safari Bar Fits. Fits Safari URL Bar. This is called Reline and Command Line History Manager. This is called Open JDK uh, 8 JDK. This is called Open JDK 8 JDRE. And there's Open JDK 16 JRE. Min uh, minimal Java runtime needed for executing on GUI Java programs using Hotspot JIT or JIT. What does that mean? What does that do? I have no clue. This is a package you would probably never install. Or if you install it, it's for another tweak that you're installing that is a dependency of it. But you would never install this tweak by itself. Unless you're a developer. If you're a normal user like me, we, why would we install a tweak like this? It's like not even English for me. <laughs> it's called Translomatic. Uh, quickly translate any text. So it's great if you're talking to someone who doesn't speak the same language as you. 
Fitch Crash when retweeting in Twitter version 8.78.1. Just got Born Again Shell, the best shell ever written by Brian Fox. And last but not least, we have a tweet called Taco or Taco. I think it's Taco. Taco. Notifications. Priority. What's that? Hub. Yep. Hub. So, yep. Uh, get these features right here. It's notification and priority hub. Group notifications, different styles, swipe gestures to remove your notifications, use stock icon coloring, also look at the project, the online should hub. So yeah guys, I will catch you with everything. Only took an hour, but uh yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one and it's 2 a.m. Gosh, I have to sleep. I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.